Hey, says Shan, and today I'm here to share this here. This is the Midori Spiral Ring Notebook. It's actually not a notebook, it's a spiral bound book of envelopes. And I got this because I was looking for a way to package up a snail mail gift in sort of a different way other than just putting everything in a bag or one envelope. And I thought this would be kind of interesting. So that's why I got this. I mean, you could, if you have craft supplies, you could put together some interesting things for your snail mailing. And I'll try to do that in the future when I have my craft supplies. Most of my supplies are packed and in storage waiting for our move. So I don't have most of my craft supplies with me. So that's why I wanted to just find something that would make it kind of simple to make an interesting snail mail gift. So when you buy them, they come in a plastic bag and they have this paper band wrapped around them. This one has the Midori branding on it. Although I've seen ones that also have their Traveler's Company branding on them. Uh, those ones look basically the same to me. They look like the same sort of cover and the same black binding and the same envelopes inside. So the main difference that I saw was that the first page in the Midori version has this orangey paper. And then there's a line there and it says Midori right there. And in the Traveler's Company branded version, the first page looks to be white or off-white and it has the sort of rectangular box on a page there. I preferred the Midori one, I just like this colored paper more. But I mean, they're basically more or less the same. I'm just going to do some quick measuring for you guys now. So from the edge of a spiral binding, the outermost edge, to the edge of the cover here, it's a little bit under seven and three quarters of an inch. Right? And then the height of the cover is five and one eighths of an inch. Right? There you go. And then inside, there are these 12 envelopes and they have this plastic window on them and then a flap on this side here. Right? And for these, the usable dimensions, I'm just gonna kind of measure from a little bit inside the spiral binding. You get roughly six and three quarters of an inch, roughly. Maybe a little bit more than that, maybe a hair more than that, but just about there. And then the height of the envelope is just a little bit under four and three quarters of an inch. So you've got a little less than that for the item that you're gonna put inside. So I got these on Amazon Japan. I paid 600 yen for each of them. And I bought myself a few of them and then I bought a few to give away. And I like that they're not too expensive, but they look nice for the money. The cover is a nice thick craft. And then this page here, it's a thin paper, but it feels really nice. It has a nice texture to it. Hopefully you can see that there. And then the envelopes are a nice quality too. And just in case you're wondering, there's no adhesive on the flaps, but I think that's good not to have adhesive on the flaps so you can kind of change the way you want to use them, right? And at the back, there's one more sheet of paper here. And then there's just some info printed on there. All right. So you can use these in so many different ways, but I just wanted to offer you guys a few simple ideas. So there are 12 envelopes, as I mentioned before, that makes them great for organizing things by month. So if you want to make this purely functional, you can have one envelope per month and you can just use it to collect your receipts, let's say, right? Because I'm always losing my receipts and then when it comes time to doing taxes, I am kind of a mess. So that's one way you could use it, just organize receipts. And here's another idea. If you're into scrapbooking and journaling, but aren't really, let's say you're just kind of really behind on your scrapbooking, you can always use this to organize your photos and your ticket stubs and your ephemera from different places you've been. And you can organize them by month that way too, right? So let's say I have my January photos and other little things, little cards and things that I've collected in January and put them in here. And then maybe I don't get around to scrapbooking until March or something. I can just go back to this envelope and get my January photos and other things and do my scrapbooking at a later time. So you can use this that way too, to organize your journaling and scrapbooking things, right? Now I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of the ones I've used already. So here are two of them that I've been using to hold my ephemera. And this is not really not the best idea just because of how much is in there. So I kind of recommend not putting as much as I have in these, just because you can see how fanned out they get, right? So usually when I'm storing them, I have to put them kind of like this because they're just kind of crazy thick, right? So I don't really recommend putting this much stuff in them just because they get really fanned out, right? But I really needed a way to organize some of the ephemera that I've been buying while I've been uh, staying here, right? Because I, I don't have most of my craft supplies, but I do have some ephemera packs and I also bought some supplies while we've been staying here. So I just needed a way to organize my things because I don't have my usual storage stuff, right? So that's how I've been using these for now. I probably will continue to use them in this sort of way, but just put less in them. Right? And here's another one that I've been using. This one I've been using to collect stuff for different people that I send snail mail to because a lot of times I buy a pack of ephemera and let's say 
there are like 40 pieces of ephemera in there. I usually see a few pieces that I think one person will like, and then I see a few pieces that I think another person will like, you know? But when it comes time to actually getting their mail together, I can never remember <laughs> which ephemera pack had which pieces that I thought that they would like. So from now on, whenever I buy an ephemera pack, if I think one person will like something, I'm gonna take them out of that ephemera pack and put them in this book so that I can keep track of stuff for them. So I've got an envelope for each person that I would like to send snail mail to, right? So you can see here, this person, she really likes giraffes. So picked out some draft things for her and also she likes pink and purple. And this person, she loves books. And also she has a dog who looks a little bit like this dog here. So there's a little dog sticker right there. <laughs> so for this person here, I've already packaged up a box for her finally. It's only taken me ages, right? I'm so sorry for taking so long. To the people who I owe mail to, I always take so long. I'm so sorry for that. So I just packaged up a box for her, but I wanted to kind of start collecting more stuff for, for future mail. So this is a cute little envelope that I wanted to set aside for her, right? And then this person, same thing, I just sent her a box. And then I just wanted to set aside some other things for the next mailing. So that's how I've been using this one so far. Okay. Now this one, this one was really fun to put together. This is the one that I'm going to be sending to someone. I'm sending this one to Simone because she sent me an awesome gift. And I just, I'm so, I, I just really appreciate what she's, what she's done for me. So I wanted to put together something for her that's kind of fun to look at. Okay. I got some other things for her as well, but this is just one of the items that I'm going to be sending to her. And you can see that even with a bunch of stuff inside, it's still pretty slim. It's not too thick. She's kind of a minimalist when it comes to planning and drawing. So I tried to respect that and not send her too much stuff. Because usually when people send me stuff, I want to... I'm always tempted to send them like thousands of stickers. Because <laughs> I have so many stickers, right? So I'm always tempted to send people like tons of stickers and stuff, right? But I just didn't think that she would really like that too much. Just because she's more of a minimalist than I am, right? So I hope she's going to like this because I'm totally not a minimalist. You know, when it comes to supplies and drawing and stationary stuff, I'm, I just I love it all. So I hope that I did an okay job with this. <laughs> so in here are four postcards with artwork by Higuchi Yuko. Sometimes you'll see her name displayed as Yuko Higuchi, depending on whether her last name is put first. But I just, I love her artwork so much. Seriously, it's just amazing, right? And I thought that Simone would like this just because she likes sketching. She likes black ink, simple black and white. So there's four postcards in there. Love the cat. And then in this next one, she loves house plants. So I had to pick out some ephemera with just a little bit of ephemera <laughs> with a house plant theme there. You can see. And then just because there's not a whole heck of a lot in this envelope, I put the little clip here. It's a little rose gold paper clip there. Yeah. And then in this next one, <laughs> I have some cat bookmarks for her. I couldn't resist because I thought, you know, she might like these. And then here is a little cat clip, although he's facing the other way here. You're gonna see him over here. He's from Midori as well. Cute little cat clip. I love this cat waving the underpants. <laughs> and then in here, there are some Higuchi Yugo sticker sheets. So there's three sheets of stickers in there. And then here, ooh, more Higuchi Yugo postcards. So I think this envelope, I put three postcards. Beautiful, right? Beautiful artwork. And then in this one, there are book and library themed ephemera. And then these funky looking stickers, these are from Ikea. So I just gave her some sheets of those. And then here, there's a greenhouse postcard and a die cut, a flower die cut. And then if you look closely, there's a cat on top of this little greenhouse there. And because there's not a whole lot in this envelope, I put another clip, this little rose gold clip. And then here we have more Higuchi Yuko postcards. I think this envelope has four postcards in there. And then here, this is uh, one of the A6 memo pads from Hobonichi. And then I put a little robot clip on there. This is a Midori clip as well, like the cat one. Cute little clips. And then in here, there's this pouch of cat stickers. I love these stickers so much. This is one of my favorite, one of my favorite cat sticker packs. <laughs> I love these so much that I bought myself a whole bunch of them and then I bought a whole bunch of them to give away. And I just thought, that she would smile if she looked through these cat stickers. They're so cute. I'm not gonna open them because I want something to be a surprise in case she's watching. I don't I don't know if she's watching, but just in case, I don't want to ruin the surprise, right? But there are really cute stickers in there and they're all on vellum and they're large too. They're amazing, I love them. Okay, and then back here, there's a little note from me. So this is just really cute. I <laughs> have these like cat letter sets. 
they look like the cat sitting in a pet carrier. <laughs> this little guy is so cute. On the other side of the sheet, this little guy, his name is Sir Fudge. I just thought that was so cute. And here I just spelled out her name with uh, some letter stickers from my crepe paper sticker book. So there's a note in there and then that's it. So I'm hoping that she will like this. I tried to send her a nice amount of things in there. I wanted it to be fun to look through, but I didn't want to overload her with stuff just because she is more of a minimalist than I am, right? So I kind of think, you know, not too bad, right? I mean, there's some decent amount of stuff in there, but it's not super thick. So I think that's, uh, I think that's okay, right? So I hope she really likes this. I'm going to wrap this up for her and then send it off to her tomorrow. So if you're curious about the other things I got for her, I also got her this. I got her this cute little box of cards. There's mini cards inside and mini envelopes and also little stickers. And they come in this adorable little greenhouse box because she's into houseplants, right? So I just thought, when I saw this, I just thought she might like this. <laughs> it's very cute. And you can see the cards there, card designs there. I hope she likes this. And then I also got her this pair of gold scissors by this company called Tools to Live By. The packaging looks kind of nice, eh? Kind of old fashioned. I also got her the sheet of ninja stickers here. <laughs> they're kind of funny. If you're curious, the brand name for this sticker sheet is Mind Wave, and I ordered them off of Tokyo Pen Shop. And because she likes sketching in black ink, I thought she might like this. So I got her this letter set off of Amazon Japan. You can see that there are different stationery items on there, and they look like they're hand drawn. It's totally awesome. I love this kind of stuff with stationery laid out like that. I love it. So I hope she likes this too. I'm going to make another video about this brand because I really love this brand. It's called Plus Lab. You can see the letter sheets look like this. There's a pen there. And then I have this stuff for her. So here's the roll of tape that I ordered from Sweet Supply. So I ordered this for Simone. And then I have two Batman pens for her. And each of them writes in very, very thin black ink. And then this here, this little guy is the Not Scary Bear Paperweight from Hobie Nikki. She doesn't have this little guy yet, so I wanted her to have one of mine. This is the little guy that came with my Bloom gift set. So I hope she likes these things. I forgot to show you guys that on the bottom right corner, there's a little embossed bee there. Little embossed critter there. Very cute. Very nice little detail there. So there you have it. Just a few simple ideas. I know they're very, very simple ideas. I'm sure you could think of these on your own. <laughs> I just want to share these with you guys. A few simple ideas for how you can use these Midori spiral ring notebooks. I hope you enjoyed this and I just want to say thanks for watching and I hope we catch you next time. All right, bye.